Woo! Hello, guys, and welcome back to Low Key and Gaming. I'm so hot right now. Okay, we're gonna be playing Dracula's Legacy, and let me explain something. This game crashed. We had been playing it. I didn't want to play it for the channel. I was like, you, you know, and it crashed on us. It crashed on us. There is a game-breaking bug in this game that we're not going to play that far. Would just be a worse here. So we're going to start from the beginning. Yes. Okay. So here we go. I'm so mad. You can see it's a beautiful game. Hey, look at that. They are really proud of that mud. I know they are. So, a little goofy, a little silly. Come on, silly. Welcome to the Sci-Fi Channel. Okay, so here we are. Um, let's see if it's going to leave us alone. If it asks us if we want to do the tutorial, we will skip. A lot of cutscenes at first, just so you know. Boo. Okay, no, I would not. Let me see if I can figure this out from the first time I played it. Okay, chest is locked, can't be open without a key, but actually seems so I can break it open with almost anything. So I'm gonna go up here. Okay, this lantern is locked with wire. So I need to go over here. And it looks like an old machine with one part's missing, so let's do this. And... If you had a tutorial, it would walk you through this, but, um... I sometimes get anger management problems with these tutorials. Okay, so... That's going to need something, obviously. Here we go. Okay, it's going to give me anything else? Yeah, it is. Okay, and I like that it usually, usually zooms back out from stuff once you're done with it. It's a bat. Okay, let's see. I can't remember if I got this or I skipped or what the heck's going to go on here. Okay, so... We're going to need gears here, obviously. Need a gear well. Okay, it's like, yeah. Oh, puppy! Puppy, puppy? Puppy, puppy. Okay, can't go any further. Let's look in here. Oh, the little hissy's mad. Everything's mad in this cave. Okay, so we got. Okay, so we can reach in there and get the gear. Make sure we get a shaft. Can't go any further. Can't walk around the puppy. I would think he wouldn't reach that far, but lick her back. Okay, so we needed a gear over here. Lots of cutscenes early on. It, it after a while it starts to not do that. So <laughs> you can tell he is really not enjoying that. So I must feel bad for him. So I'm gonna do a once over here. I don't recall there being anything I needed, but let's go. Um, there is a game breaking bug in this game in that if you go past an area sometimes it won't let you go back like these little cutscene areas uh, will not let you go back sometimes okay so I'm gonna need something here okay there's a tunnel visible past the roots don't need this one for 15 minutes I was looking at this first side tunnel and there's nothing there and you see how you can't go back there that's usually not an issue but sometimes it doesn't let you pick everything up first So 
So I turn into something? I... Here we go. Hello, my child. My name is Christopher Kelmendi. I've come to help you. Can you help me find my boyfriend? These characters are kind of spooky. We came to this weird place, and then suddenly we were attacked by a horrible creature. It seemed like it chased us for miles and miles, but it was really for just a few seconds, and then I fell in here. I think it must have caught Matt. What's going on? What was that beast? And where's Matt gone to? Your fiancé is in great danger. But mm. you're in even greater danger right now than he is. You must rush and escape from this awful dungeon. That creature you recently encountered was nothing compared to the horrible beings that lurk down here. Luckily, all of them are so asleep at the sink moment. Very well with but the as animation. night falls, they'll awaken from their sound sleep. So hurry, my child, and find your way out of here immediately. <sighs> okay, so there are a lot of those at first, and that might, if you like to play a faster pace, that might make you a little mad, but I think you can fast forward through them. Okay, so I'm gonna have to figure out a way through there. Okay, that needs... Okay... Do I use this over here? I forget already. Nope, okay. There we go. That's where I used it. And I believe that's our first hidden object scene. So a lot of people did not like this. You notice how there's only four things to find at a time. So you might be seeing everything you need really fast, but you're not going to um, find it all quickly. Now, if you look over here to your left, because I'm finally aware that you guys never see my pointer um over here is a puzzle chest over on the right are the three stars and you're just going to solve this by making sure the stars match up with the stars on the wall so yellow dragon for example we got a, a paint pressure paint there you go so in a way, this is kind of nice that we had to restart because at least I can go through this and you guys can see it in a timely fashion. So, how are you guys doing? Um, from having gone through this, I am going to tell you that this is absolutely nothing different. So these search, search parts aren't going to change. At least it doesn't look like they're going to. Okay, so we got a flute. Where could I possibly use a flute? We're going to back up using this. We're going to go here, zoom in. And you're going to use your flute. And we're going to hope he stays asleep. Okay. So. So far, so good. Um, I like this one in that it's not overly complicated like if I'm moving these uh, parts and you see you do have a fast forward button I could fast forward through this but it shouldn't take us too long uh, as I'm moving one part I'm not moving 20 others at least not in the puzzles I've encountered so far so that is a nice part about it and I'm just trying to get these to line up it takes some doing. I I know I need. I'm I'm looking down. I know you can't see where I'm looking, but where did I? I know there. That's the head I need. Okay, that's not lining up perfectly, but that's what I need. I think it didn't line up the first time either, and that's what threw me. Okay, yeah. So these puzzles aren't perfect. Perfect. If you're a perfectionist, you will notice stuff like that. So tons of mini cutscenes in this in this beginning. Second time through, I'm not sure I'm a fan. Okay, I wonder who needed to wrap the coffin with a rope. Still got our knife. Okay. 
so we're going to be able to take that and we're going to be able to look at that and that's a bat lock look he's like bat and those you can hit for no discernible reason and do you notice it makes the sound of a copier machine <laughs> i'm sure they're pretty mad that i figured that out but i can't help it this goes here Okay, so I'm going to need to stick something in there, so... Yeah, tons, tons, and tons of those little, um... Hardly, hardly saw that, so... Let's see... That means back this way and back through that way. That's right. Okay, still don't have that back piece, but... I really expected their eyes to open. What a terrible vampire. What a terrible vampire. They all get the same thing. So I'm gonna look over here. So that's gonna give us a we can back up if you guys want. Look, he's like, yeah. Go to the coffin. Okay, so I don't want to reach in there and touch spiders, obviously, so... This thing might be clanky. Go over here. Let's do what I can do. So it's gonna tell us, like, a couple gold teeth and crystals are missing. For some reason, I can touch that over there that uh, I was touching, like, it looks like a sun disk. But it wouldn't let me do anything. There's your other gold too. And there's an axe. And there's that little vampire bouncing around making me kind of nervous. So I'm gonna still need an eye. So he's definitely making me nervous. Can't touch any of these coffins that I noticed. So I've got an axe. So... Let me back up and look there. And we're going to chop our way through. And now we can go into the yard. Okay, we're going to rob the dead. Try not to think about it. Okay, we can look at that door. Okay. Can't do anything without a key. This. Okay, a part is missing. that I can't take if I don't patch it. And so let's go back. I think it's all that was there. Okay. So I'm gonna reach in. Grab that puzzle piece. Okay, so it looks like I don't need any more there. Um, it is, it is a really good, enjoyable game. Okay, now let me see if I remember how to stack these. If I don't, it will it will allow you to um, go ahead and skip out actually, which Okay, that's not gonna work. Hmm. It's not gonna work. I did actually solve this, believe it or not. I, I I just got really frustrated and I solved it almost like for the heck of it. Okay. That can go there. Wait. Aha! Yeah, once you figure it out, it's, it's not too bad. Grab that. And back we go. But I think Loki actually wanted this on the channel, because I told him no. And I... There are apparently a couple places that if you messed up, you won't be able to go back. And, um, I hit one of them. And you have to start all the way back from the beginning, um, unfortunately. It's not one of those games with, 
you know, where you could make save files and go back to before the, uh, before it broke. So I needed that key for, let's see, the yard, I believe. Okay, get you guys outside and play a little bit more. As you can see, lots and lots of cutscenes. <laughs> oh, so many cutscenes. Uh, some people really hated that, by the way, in the reviews. Oh no, I touched it. So, a very deep pit, no kidding. Okay, so we got tree roots or branches or something in there. It's been a long day. There we go. Okay. Tar seems to have leaked. Can I hit that again with that? There we go. Well, at least I know where I can get some tar if I need it. So let's see, there's there's nothing else showing, I don't think. Okay. Old half decayed tar. Hay is very dry. Let's go this way. Okay, so I need in there. I got our Kurt Will. Got a spade. Got glasses. Okay. So we can actually go back and wait. Don't need that either. Do that. And we're kind of doing this out of order, but. Another cutscene. I'll have some coffee. Congratulations, my child. All you need to do is get over this high wall. You can see a town behind it, and that's where you'll mm -hmm. find your fiancé. He's still alive, safe and sound even, but time is running short. Why isn't he looking at me? Of course. He's like do all looking I can off to camera. Rescue my mat as soon as possible. So I feel like I should be over here. here. It's all my fault we were even here in the first place. But tell me, please. Where in the town should I look for him? And who can I ask to help me? The town is almost empty of people. Okay. The few human beings still here have become the loyal slaves of those monsters. Their minds clouded and controlled by the evil creatures. Trust no one, and good luck. May you succeed. How is he safe and sound if they're servants of the uh, vampires? Wouldn't that be a bad thing? So I dug with her shovel. And this is missing part of the walk. Okay, let's see if I can walk you guys through this one. It's kind of a logic thing. There's only one way for that to go. So what I ended up doing is logicking backwards from... Uh, The thing. And basically, you can see it's trying to get you to use almost all these pieces. Oh, that, that jumped a little. There you go. So sometimes that helps on those kind of things. Okay, so the cannonball is too heavy. I managed to lag a cart, but uh, I lugged the cart the whole way here, but not the cannonball. So, we've got the cannonball there. We don't need anything else here. That is our view of Yon City. Okay. So, for some reason, even though night is coming, and that's where you're going to load stuff, I think I just showed that to you. And we're going to need, let's see if we have any of the stuff we need. Well, we can go down first. We can actually go back. I'm really playing this out of order compared to what we did the first time. Okay, so I need a torch. Eh, we're kitchen out. You guys still hanging in back there? Okay, so let's go this way. 
Wait, was there anything else back there? Okay, that's going to need a walk. Aha, there's okay. So I missed it here. Yeah, you guys have noticed, I tend to play games way too fast and I buzz right by stuff I need. Okay, butterfly puzzle, we're going to have to move stuff one piece at a time. Which took me a while to figure out. Okay, so there is your flat, there's your butterfly. Flashlight is the battery. Um, Angel's gonna be the swing. Um, that's the only good thing I could say is that if you've played this already and you get stuck, it's not gonna take you a terribly long time to go through this again. Um, but that was frustrating, obviously. Okay, garlic. Okay, snow rose, small heart pendant. I don't know what that is. Spoon. I think I'm going to frog at some point. There's the rose. Okay, so a key and a snail. Now this is where low vision does start to catch up with me a little bit. It's pretty clear to me, but not crystal. Okay. There's our snail. Okay. So let's go back. go back into the crypt and we're going to need to use this here I'm getting little foxy instructions back here show them the boom part okay baby. okay I actually got a backtrack my bad guys okay so there's gonna be a puzzle here Another little cutscene. Okay, so a lot of cutscenes in this one. Okay, continue. Go back to your cannon. I don't think you should be standing in front of it when you light it, but what do I know? And no vampire or monster heard that and came running to find us. I find that hard to believe. My whole life, almost, is covered by this pitch dark fog. I can barely even remember my real name. My first clear memories are connected to that cold evening in the park when I saw Matt for the first time. He came up to me and introduced himself. He wanted to know my name and why I was sitting on the bench all alone. Good questions. If only I could have answered them. Matt wanted to walk me home, but I had no home. My mind had nothing where memories would live. Nothing but that awful, thick fog. For many years, Matt tried his best to help me remember my past. But in vain, when I looked hard into the fog, I still could only see smudged outlines of figures that terrified me. Images that left me no peace during the night or the day. I would often wake up in the middle of the night crying, calling out for help. And I kept having this odd, recurring dream about a weird town, where I walked and walked along the streets for a long time, as if I were looking for something. But I never found it. One day, Matt suggested that we take a trip to find that weird town from my dreams. He thought we'd find the answers there to all those questions that had tormented my soul for as long as I could remember. And I eagerly agreed. And that's how we ended up in Silent Hill. Um, Vampire Town. Boo! That's a very, um, unusual trot chalk. Okay, so I think you guys get the gist of this. Every time you come to a new area, your inventory is back to zero. I don't personally care for that. But whether it was or it wasn't, everything's back to zero. So you're going to have to put a fire out to a bunch of doing stuff. And yeah. 
Um, it made me really mad to have to restart this one. I, I obviously, you know, who wants to restart a game? But, Loki wanted it on the channel, so we hit a great game ranking bug. So, if you guys like what you see, like, comment, subscribe. I don't know how more, how many, how often we play games, but Loki's just, you know, wanted this on the channel, so I said, hey, why not? So, we will see you guys later. Bye-bye.